Hey there YouTube, welcome to the new shop. Today we're rolling up on the hoist a 2021 Sport Glide. It's in gauntlet gray metallic. It has a few updates for the 2021 model, but we're just doing the pre-delivery inspection like the motorcycle just rolled off the Harley Davidson truck. It's brand new. We go through every single new model, make sure that the turn signals are adjusted, handlebars, hand controls, lights make sure that we get all the sticky adhesive from like paint protection products off the vehicle give the whole bike a good look over so i'm just going to speed the video up as i go through and do all the normal pre-delivery inspection points that i do there is specific literature from the motor company uh, but i add a little bit of kind of like what we normally do on a 1k service to it you know to check all the critical fasteners and hardware and make sure everything's good and tight the color matched saddlebag is a new thing for 2021 which i think is an awesome look soft tail models in general have really grown on me since they came out on this new platform and i'm really really starting to enjoy them i like the speedo on the sport glide and the dash configuration and also like the little mini fairing that's detachable just like a windshield so it pops right off along with the saddlebags the saddlebags just easily pop off too it's got big calipers on it floating rotors and it has a pretty nice stock you know just normal machined wheel on it too pretty good look inverted forks which are pretty sweet looking here we go we're actually getting the bike ready to put it on the showroom floor now I start out just by going around and removing all the easy little stickers and tags from how the bike is attached to uh, the platform that it's delivered on. And then we're going around making sure that all the paint is in good condition, that there aren't any scratches or nicks or damage from assembly or delivery or whatever. We add the maxi fuse to the motorcycle. And then we're going to be programming the key fob and inputting a pin number into it later. I like to remove the right side cover. It makes it a lot easier to check the transmission fluid. So I just pop that off. And then all the little clear protectant tags that are also like on the dash. A lot of people forget them on touring models like on the ignition switch. And then the sun bakes them on. It's a real pain in the butt to get them off. But we get the saddlebags off. For whatever reason, like the motor company uses a lot of like grease pencil to mark the tires. So I go around, I use a little bit of our special alcohol based brake cleaner just on a little rag and it helps to wipe that oil or grease pencil off and it just makes the bike look like so much better. The vehicle comes with a light amount of oil on the brake rotors so I peel that off. And then obviously, if there's any type of like sticky residue, I like to peel that up also. And we've already checked the tire pressure for the rear tire. And here I'm just using a ratchet strap through a couple holes that are already on the hoist to tighten down the rear wheel so that I can move the jack farther forward on the frame, lift up the front tire, and then loosen up the wheel chalk so that I can clean up the front tire and the front rim also. If you've seen my other videos, I'm I'm pretty used to working on a pole hoist at a different dealership that I worked at. This new dealership, I just have three normal hoists. I don't have a pole hoist, which is kind of kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt because then you got to go through these extra steps to work around the front end. But it is what it is. We're still working on getting that grease pencil off. There's a lot of little ribs that are embossed into the side of the tire. So it makes it a little bit of a project to get in there and get all that white and yellow pencil off. And then sometimes the motor company leaves these huge tags that are stuck to the side of the rim. And they're a real pain in the butt to get off. And just cleaning up the face of the wheel because there's usually some like assembly goo that's left over and it, it hardens up on the face of the rim. It just makes it not look so great. Checking the front tire pressure. 
making sure they're both cool. And then I get out the torque wrench. I like to check things like the front fender, front brake caliper, axle, uh, the exhaust system, specifically like where the nuts are into the exhaust gaskets for the cylinder heads, all of the clamps around the exhaust system, the muffler clamp. If it has heat shields around the muffler, check those. And an end cap, the fenders, fender supports on this, the saddlebag support brackets, foot pegs or like rear foot rests, the front rider controls where they mount into the frame, the brake fluid, the brake fluid level, the front motor mounts. There's a couple bolts where it goes through the frame and everything there. Fuel tank hardware. And basically everything that you can kind of just easily get a socket on. It makes sense to just go through and double check. That's the whole reason of doing the pre-delivery inspection. Get the seat off. You got to be careful with this with this specific model because it has a seat strap. So you have to like push the seat forward and make sure that you don't gouge the gas tank with the metal tab that's on the front of the seat. We'll then check the rest of the fuel tank hardware, battery hardware, all the electrical connections for the rear fender. And then you want to go around with a flashlight and look in between all, all of the gaps like around the engine and the transmission and make sure all of the hardware and wire routing is as it should be around there. Also up by like the regulator and where the wiring runs down under the engine along the frame. Make sure that all of that's routed as it should be along with the clutch cable and that nothing has really gotten pinched or bound up. And while the bike is on the hoist, I just do a quickie check as far as the engine oil level and the transmission fluid level. Both of those I'll check more accurately down on the ground. But on the other side, I'll also pop off the derby cover and then check the oil in the primary. Make sure everything is as it should be. And then we get the main max fuse back in the fuse holder. The motorcycle comes with two spare fuses. So we get those in there. And they're a little bit of a bugger to get in the fuse caddy. But we get all that tidied away and put in the electrical harness. And then we're careful with putting the seat on. And then how the front of the seat lays on the tank. All of that's all good. We pop the side covers back on. Then we get the saddlebags back on. They don't require any tools, but there is a little locking lever. Make sure the handlebar clamp is tightened down. I like to make sure that both like the clutch lever and the brake lever are nice and even. And then adjust the mirrors so that like both of the stems are at the same angle, just so everything looks cool. And adjust the clutch. Sometimes the clutches are a little squeaky. Like if you just hop on the motorcycle and pull the clutch in with the bike off, it makes this terrible like screeching noise. But if you just put a little bit of a uh, wheel bearing grease up on the plastic sliders there, it makes everything super smooth. And then I'm adjusting the turn signals to make sure that they're nice and even. Then we check the lights, the high beam, low beam, turn signal, brake lights, all of them. Since it's winter here in Michigan, I won't get a chance to test ride the motorcycle, but we'll just roll the next bike up and get going, start all over again. Thanks for watching.